morning to you. Brother Alex is, uh, it's his day off. He was very kind to come in and set up his, set up the camera for us in his PJs. So, but we're gonna go ahead and, and pray and we're gonna start with the hymn as always. Oh God, come to my assistance. Lord, make us to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. The glory of these forty days we celebrate with songs of praise. For Christ, by whom all things were made, himself has fasted and has prayed. Alone and fasting, Moses saw the loving God who gave the law. And to Elijah fasting came, this is a period of flame. Lord, you will accept the true sacrifice offered on your altar. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O oh, wash me more and more from my, my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly, I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight, I have done that you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you allow truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall bring out your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offerings for me would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbly contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, Holocaust offered on your altar. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord, Lord you will accept, accept the true the sacrifice, sacrifice offered on your Lord. altar. Let us pray. Father, he who knew no sin was made sin for us. It's to serve us and return us, restore us to your friendship. Look upon our contrite heart and afflicted spirit and heal our troubles, our troubled conscience so that in the joy and strength of the Holy Spirit we may proclaim your praise and glory before all nations. All descendants of Israel will glory in the Lord's gift of victory. Truly with you, God, with you, God is hidden the God of Israel, the Savior. Those who set apart are, are part, who are put to shame and disgrace, who bent their anger against him, those who go in disgrace, who carve images. Israel, you are saved by the Lord, saved forever. You shall never be put to shame or disgrace in future ages. For thus says the Lord, the creator of the heavens, who is God, the designer and maker of the earth who established it, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it to be lived in. I am the Lord, there is no other. I have not spoken from hiding. 
nor from some dark place of the earth. And I have not said to the descendants of Jacob, look for me in an empty waste. I, the Lord, promise justice. I foretell what is right. Come and assemble, gather together, you fugitives from among the Gentiles. They are without knowledge who bear wooden idols and pray to gods that cannot save. Come here and declare in council together who announced this from the beginning or foretold it from of old. Was it not I, the Lord, besides whom there is no other God? There is no just and saving God but me. Turn to me and be safe, all you ends of the earth, for I am God, there is no other. By myself I swear, uttering my just decree and my unalterable word. To me every nay shall bend, and, me, and by me every tongue shall, shall swear, saying, Only in the Lord are just deeds and power. Before him in shame shall come all who vent their anger against him. The Lord shall be the vindication and the glory of all the descendants of Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. All, all the, the descendants, descendants of Israel, Israel will glory, glory in to the Lord's, Lord's gift, gift of, of victory. victory. Let us go into God's presence, singing for joy. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Let us go into God's presence, presence singing, singing for joy. joy. Let us pray. With joy and gladness, we cry out to you, Lord. And ask you open our hearts to sing your praises and renounce and announce your goodness and truth a reading from the book of isaiah see my servant shall prosper he shall be raised high and greatly exalted even as many were amazed at him so marred was his look beyond that of man and his appearance beyond that of mortals, so shall he startle many nations. Because of him, kings shall stand speechless, for those who have not been told shall see, those who have not heard shall ponder it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare, God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. From those who would trap me with lying words. From the hunter's snare. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. The Lord said, I have done many acts of kindness, for which of them you do, do you want to kill me? Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy promise, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who saved us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he bore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of my life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation 
by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The Lord said, I have done you many acts of kindness. For which of those do you want to kill me? Thanks be to Christ the Lord, who brought us life by the death on his cross. With our whole heart, let us ask him. By your death, death raise us to life. life. Teacher and Savior, you have shown us your fidelity and made us a new creation by your passion. Keep us from Sick falling again into, into sin. sin. Help us to deny ourselves today and not but deny not those in need. May we receive this day of penance as your gift and give, give it back, back to you through the works, works of mercy. mercy. Master our rebellious hearts and teach us generosity. Again, we continue to pray for those who have been afflicted by the COVID-19 virus that they may be given back their life, O Lord, only by your grace, we pray. By your death, raise us to life. We pray for all those who are the doctors, the nurses, the interns, and the volunteers, that they may continue to work together, not only to take care of those afflicted, but also for a cure, we pray. By your death, raise us to life for our families who continue to persevere during these very difficult times. Be with them, Lord. Shine your light upon them, we pray. By, by your, your death, death raise us to life. We ask you to add your own prayers at this time. We pray, by, by your death, death raise, raise us to life. life. Now let us join the, all these prayers in the beautiful prayer our Savior gave us. Our Father, who Lord art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord, grant us your forgiveness and set us free from our enslavement to sin. We ask this for our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May every blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Well, we're glad to have you with us. I can smell the delicious breakfast that Father Anthony has prepared for us today. And by the, uh, the scent that is wafting into the living room, I can also tell there's there's a little bit of heat in this this breakfast this morning. Very little, probably. A very of, tiny bit of it. Just, just, yeah. just kind of a mild set of heat. I'm reminded when Father John Peter was here, he prepared this wonderful dinner that was a, an Indian dinner. And I told him to please make sure I only got mild, uh, anything that was mild in it. And he pointed me to all the hot stuff. <laughs> and I was just kind of like, Father, why would you do that? He goes, well, I don't know that movie you were talking about. <laughs> anyway, it's always a delight to have you in our living room and to join us for morning prayer. Please know that we will walk with you throughout the day in our own prayers for you and for your families. Thank you for being with us. Have a nice day. Yes.